watching TV and my TV has one of these. And I'll never forget the time, Brett, please join me so oh, we can okay. share in this story together. Story. <laughs> I'll never forget the time that the power had gone out. Uh -huh. My remote for the Bose Solo would no longer work. I assumed the battery was dead or it was broken. It okay. was really just that I needed to reboot the system. Okay. For a week, I had to live with the sound coming out of my TV not out of the Bose solo. And I mean, you would have thought the world had ended. Because for you, it did. I, it, for me, it, it did. really did. And yeah. these, are, these are real champagne problems. But I will tell you, <laughs> the Bose say. solo is totally my favorite. And if I had spare money laying around to burn a hole in my pocket, I'd buy one for every TV in my house because your TV may be great for watching TV, but TV companies make TVs for watching. They're not in the sound business. So have you ever noticed that like a $2,000 TV looks awesome but sounds horrifically tinny? This is the solution. Horrifically tinny, that's a good way to put it. TVs are getting thinner, there's no room for the speakers. And as Sean just said, we spend all that money, it looks great, but you got this big Hollywood movie that you're watching, you're like, what? I can't hear it, I can't hear it. Or with your dad sleeping on the couch, the last thing you wanna do is continue to turn up the volume because you can't hear what they're saying. Well, here is the solution. Bose, one little wire, you plug it in, you plug it in, and it does its thing. Well, here's it without it's doing its thing. This is the sound coming from the television as we watch this movie. I'm gonna shut up for a second so you can hear it as it is. Not bad, but how much are we missing? There you go. And by the way, we're not turning the volume up, we're enhancing the sound that's inside. The cash register ringing the salt and sugar shakers, the silverware, the bells ringing. There is a reason. All of it goes away when we You're go to the sound You're talking the too much. We can't hear the ringing. No. TV. I'm telling you, this thing. Wait for it. One last one on the TV, back to the boat. Okay, so let me just say. Scene. <laughs> End scene. Um, this price is ridiculous, insane. I'd be getting it for dad even though Father's Day is not until June because this is the lowest price we've ever had on a bow solo, ever. Ever, ever. And good luck finding this at this price anywhere else. And why bother? Because they're not going to give you easy pay. They're not going to give you free shipping. Did I say they're not going to give you easy pay? I would like to say a few things that just kind of get out of the way now. The stuff you need to know. One, why do I like it? The obvious. It turns your TV into a Bose TV. Two, how easy it to, is it to install? One plug, right? It's one wire. It's either this wire or it's this wire and you plug it into the wall. And you give us the wires. We give you both wires. If you wanna use the old school, like the VCR wire, we call it the red and white, there you go. Or the optical, which is a digital cable that you plug directly into the back of this, that plugs into the back of this, then everything that's plugged into your television. And by the way, a little smart remote to go along with it, so it's not just your television. It's a gaming system. It could be a Blu-ray player. It could be the cable box. It could be anything you have plugged into your TV. will now filter through the Bose so that everything sounds good. But when I say one wire, I'm lying. It's really two because you have to plug it into the wall with the other one. But it's one liar. wire. You don't have to get... And you don't have to configure anything. And by configure, I mean that's a fancy tech talk for what do I have to do? How do I make it work? Nothing. You plug it in just like that guy did right there. You can take your TV and put it on top of the Bose if you want, or you can put it underneath the TV, or you can put it to the side, you can put it into a cabinet, you can put it on the floor, and then let Bose fill up the room. And like Sean said, once you hear your TV audio through a Bose, you're never, ever, ever gonna go back again. Ever, I mean ever. Ever, built-in Bluetooth. I'll get to that in a second. You can use this for your entire house to be able to bring all of your music from all your portable devices through this as well. So it's not just for your television. You can now control the bass, the older version you could not. There's also something on here, super, super cool, called a dialogue button. Could you be my, uh, well, oh, right here. Would you like me to be your model? Yes, please. Could By the way, can we just, I need to stop you for a second. Okay. This Bo Solo. Yes can be used with what size TVs? Any size TV. The only restriction is this base is about 12 by 24. So if you wanna put it on top, keep it under about 70 pounds, but make sure that the base isn't any wider. If for some reason you've got this mammoth TV, it will still work. 
Just don't rest the TV on top of it. I, Put it on a little shelf below. We have it on our shelf below. This is the it whole is the, entire unit. This right is here. it. This is the book. This is now your Bose speaker for your TV because your TV was built for visuals, not for sound. And yep. I'm telling you, you will never leave your house. You will think you took an awesome summer vacation when you never did leave your driveway because you now will be glued to the room in which your TV is in. It is an extraordinary experience having Bose entertain you with your television set. By the way, power right there, and then you choose. Am I gonna use a little optical cable, or will I use this? You don't need this other stuff. That's there, you plug it into the back of the television, it automatically senses your TV. You don't have to go and do any settings, there's no menu, there's nothing to set up. Okay. But I wanted to point out real quick. Yes, the dialogue. dialogue button, this is super important. This little button right here, this is what we were kind of teasing at the very beginning. You're laying next to your husband or your wife, they fell asleep, you're watching a show, all of a sudden, you, you can't hear. I don't know. The explosions are going off in the action movie. The news, the reporter's not loud enough. He's being drowned out by taxi cabs and all that stuff. Hit that button, and it actually takes and enhances the mid range. You know, you got highs, it's yes, low. Yes, boo, boo, boo. yes. The mid is yes. where the dialogue comes from. The yakking we're doing right now is coming through the mid range in your speakers. Well, if there was noise in the background, you couldn't hear us. This goes and helps to enhance that, move all that other noise away so that you don't have to keep turning it up and rewinding and turning it up and rewinding and not, uh, not bother anybody. This retails for over $400. Mine is not even the latest version with the Bluetooth. I am telling you, this thing changes everything about watching TV, about watching movies. It is extraordinary. I own one. I love it. And the sale price, sale, is on your screen, which is unbelievable. Plus, the easy pay is too. All right, so a reminder of what it does. Yeah, so it's as simple as this. Plug the one cable into the back, and then enjoy, before we hear what it sounds like through Bose, what a movie sounds like through your TV. Speakers could be down here, back here. Listen. I learned to ignore the whispers, the lingering glances. It's okay, but what are you missing? These are the TV speakers. Five years in this morning. What are you laughing at? I learned to notice things. Is that when I said low end? When it gets quiet, there is a reason. It's hard to TV. for one last time. Here comes the bows. Uh, okay, so here's the honest truth. Somebody gave this to me as a gift. And I was like, okay, I like Bose, Wave Music System, Sistine Chapel, NASA, luxury cars. I get it. You guys are the best and blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to use this. Though. But I don't want to have to plug this in. I really, this looks a little large and I'm not, it's, I've lived this long without it. I'm kind of piecing out. And then someone was like, look, it's a gift. Like, just set yeah, it up and try it. Plug it in. Whoa. I'm not <laughs> kidding. This is... Sale price is such a captive opportunity as we go into soon to be summer season. And if you are not taking a vacation this year, um, I am telling you, make this your vacation. I swear you'll save money by no longer going to movie theater. This completely changes your viewing experience. Now, my dad loves to watch car shows. I listen to either the news or British TV or Joe loves concerts. So he's watching oh God, some sort of music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, the both the dialogue is both. richer. The music is sicker. And guys, the speaking of sick, the price you forget it. Now it is important to explain. This is a Bose music technology system. We're going to keep doing this demonstration because it's not that we're turning the volume up. No. It's that the tinny, yucky TV sound that comes out of their sad little TV speakers is now being amplified thanks to... They're harnessing like that, that and they're giving it the Bose touch. That's basically what it is. You've got the speakers that are built in. They're not bad. They're not awful. Well, they kind of are. Here's what the speakers sound like in most TVs. The thinner they get, the thinner the sound. I learned to ignore the whispers. TV speakers, what are you missing? TV speakers. Okay, you strip that away and you lose everything. There is your news.
What does it sound like when you add bows? By the way, nobody said anything when a lady walks in with a uh, handcuffed suitcase to her. <laughs> And, Stop and dark it. it's a movie. Okay. Now listen, two points that I would like to make. Please. A, um, I can't think of a great TV that actually only costs two hundred ninety nine dollars. Yes. But you can turn the current TV you have into a great TV by getting the Bose Solo. Excellent point. Secondarily, I absolutely, hands down, will tell you this is one of the best things I have ever brought into my home. But of course, I'm a TV person. I love entertainment. I love all of that. So amplifying that experience for me and this price and that easy pay. First of all, the sale price goes away. The easy pay is amazing and no other store that has Bose has it. A last reminder of the TVs, the size that work with this unit. Really any, any size TV, you just have to be careful with the base because it's about 12 by 24. You don't want to put too much weight on it. Probably up to about 75 pounds. But any size TV will work. Just put it on a shelf below. Can I make a point thirdly? Yes, please. No wires. Nothing to drill holes mm. through the floor. Nice point. You're not banging holes nice in the wall. Point. Stuff. Counterpoint. There you go. Would you like to play Fast Five? I have a choice. Oh, no, you do not. Right. The theme tonight is TV in honor of the Bose Solo and the TV. Let's start easy. What is your favorite cable channel? Uh, that'd be baseball, any baseball, ESPN. Okay, that's Major not really baseball. a cable channel, but okay. Yeah, um, late night infomercial. Late night infomercial. Favorite or funny or most annoying? Up here. Jeez. Top Chef? Top Chef. Topper Chef? Huh? Copper Chef. Copper Chef. Copper Chef, right? Is that an infomercial? Thing? Yeah, it's Eric. Oh, okay. All right. Um, sitcom that you could binge watch. Say that again? <laughs> sitcom that you could binge watch. Oh, my goodness. MASH. Still do. Oh, really? My favorite. Have you ever watched a Lifetime or Hallmark movie without your wife asking you to? No, but my sister has seen every single one of them and continues to watch them, so she's made up for both of us. <laughs> and lastly, in honor of the Bo Solo, yes. Han Solo or Hope Solo? <laughs> Han Solo. <laughs> Got him the biggest Star Wars junk. I have a life-size Millennium Falcon I in my knew, garage. I knew that. I'm I was geek. just playing along and playing dumb. All right. Maybe it's not life-size. That'd be a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> What's your favorite cable channel? Baseball. Is that a channel? Did the you mean, did Major you League mean Baseball ESPN? has its own channel. Oh, they do? Yes. Well, then it's called the MLB channel. Yes. Well, I kind of brought You're horrible at this bit. game. Nice. You're banned. You're banned. Thanks for having I'm me. I'm joking. I'm joking. We're friends, actually. If you want to search tech deals, you can go to QVC.com. And, uh, and type in tech deal, and then you're going to see great deals, easy pay, sale prices, just like that Bose Solo, right? A $299 when really it's worth over $400. Canon, HP, Xbox, Apple. You know, the cool thing, if I'm honest, about those brands and high priced technology is that any other store that you go to does not have easy pay. So when you want like the biggie time brands, that's when you really start to roll with the big dogs here at QVC because you can get easy pay and pay in installments and there's no financing and it's awesome. Now, if you tuned in late, if you missed this earlier, this brand we are celebrating was in the Vogue, the beautiful thick edition on